Today, we're going to talk about how rotating your tires can increase their lifespan. More importantly, throwing the spare tire into rotation can increase your tire life by 20 to 25%. But first, why rotate your tires? Well, here's three quick reasons. First, failure to rotate your tires can decrease their service life by 30% or roughly 15,000 miles. Second, it can cause more accidents. In fact, improper rotation practices are linked to an increased risk of hydroplaning. Lastly, you can lose your manufacturer's warranty. So if a tire does fail before the specific mileage rating, you can't get your money back. So let's get into it. First, we'll start by removing the spare. Then I can use my newly purchased jack to lift the, uh, oh. Well, I'll have to address this in another video. Back to using the scissor jack now. Then I'll remove the lugs on the rear passenger wheel. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I'm not really a fan of impact drivers, but it's perfectly fine to use one to remove a wheel. Just never, ever, 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 ever use one to put the wheel back on unless you have a torque bar, and even then you can still mess that up. Oh yeah, you'll also want to get a bucket and some soap and a sponge. See how clean the inside lip of that spare tire is? Now look at the tire we removed. All that brake dust is very corrosive and will eat into your paint if it's not addressed. Rotating your own tires gives you the best opportunity to clean this side of the wheel, so you may as well wipe them down while it's off the vehicle. When done consistently at every rotation, it doesn't take much effort to wipe the grime away. And see, in about 60 seconds, the inside of that wheel is good as new. Now let's talk about another reason why you should rotate your spare. You only have to lift one wheel at a time. Other tire rotation patterns require you to lift more than one wheel at once. So this rotation pattern is both safer for the DIY types and takes less work. I've inserted a numbered diagram as an overlay here with the rotation pattern I'm using. And while it's up, I'll just give a quick rant that Jeep owners are absolutely horrible about lifting their vehicles and keeping the stock spare. News flash, that 32 inch spare tire isn't gonna do you any good when your 38 goes flat. Another pet peeve is that they will initially get matching rims and tires, but then never rotate the spare. And you can usually tell by the fact that the spare has severe dry rot or is a completely different tire brand or type that looks five to 10 years older than the rest of them on the vehicle. Anyways, I need to get back on topic. Rotating your spare is a good habit to get into. For those of us with aftermarket wheels, you'll also want to make sure that if you have hub-centric rings, you make sure that they're installed properly. I found it's best to leave them on the hub. You can see the blue ring here, but sometimes they will stick to the inside of the rim. And if you do have one stuck on the rim and one on the hub and you try to put the wheel on, well, you'll need to go buy new spacers because you'll flatten both of them and make them useless. Also, when I do this, I like to install the lugs by hand and just make sure that the rim is fully seated against the hub. If you use a ratchet or a tire iron, you can pinch the hub rings and render them useless. We will go back and torque all of these rims and tires at the end. And because I get asked in every video I do in my car, these tires are a Turo Trailblades and they are surprisingly affordable. They have a great tread life, but they are a little bit noisy. I also recommend using an all-in-one wash and wax here. I rotate my tires every 5,000 miles when I change my oil, so it gets reapplied regularly, and the inside of the rims don't see much paint damage from UV rays. It's so hot. It's 
so, so hot. Okay, now we can torque everything down. Because I rotate my tires and change the oil at the same time, after the initial rotation and I torque all the wheels, I'll take a quick drive to the auto store and then come back and recheck the torque when I get home. Also, this is a great time to dial in your air pressure. That way you're doing it every 5,000 miles, and in doing this, you'll increase your tire life significantly. For example, these Turo Trailblades are rated for 50,000 miles, but that's using four tires. Because I'm rotating in this fifth spare tire, which granted is a little bit more of an investment on the front end, I'll get roughly 62,000 miles out of these tires instead of 50,000 miles, and that's a savings that can add up over time. Now, I want you guys to leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the video. Hit the like button, and if you want to see more common sense videos like this in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Y'all have a great day, and thanks for watching.